Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. For today's video, I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my iPhone. This is something that I've just really been needing to do for a while because my phone storage is constantly full. I'm always having to go in and delete things to free up space. So I thought I would just sit down, do a big clear out of my phone. I uploaded all my photos to my computer so I can delete as many as possible because that's a big amount of the storage space on my phone. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, and subscribe to my channel if you are new, and let's get into this. I really don't know if my phone is going to let me screen record all of this because I have such little space on my phone. We're gonna give it a shot and hopefully as I'm deleting things that will free up space so it can continue recording. So gonna start this recording, three, two, one. Okay, here we go, here's my phone. It's pretty organized, I like the organization of it so it's not gonna be so much organizing, mostly just decluttering. Let's go to settings and see how much stuff I have on my phone. So this is iPhone storage, 62.8 gigabytes of 64 used. And this is good because it was at like 63.8 gigabytes used and I cleared out some stuff. So this is a little bit better. Clearly you can see photos takes up pretty much half the storage. Um, I have so many photos on here that I need to just go through and delete. Spotify, I think that's mostly downloaded podcast episodes and saved music. Messages is pretty high, Lightroom is pretty high. TikTok, why is TikTok so high? I guess from drafts. I don't know, we're just gonna go through and start deleting stuff. This is the home page. I have the phone app, calendar, photos, camera, notes, weather, obviously none of those things are leaving because I use those every single day. This is my finance folder. I have Wells Fargo Chase, PayPal, Venmo, Square Team. Square Team is what I get paid through. That's like how I get my paychecks. So I'm gonna keep that on there. Mint is my budgeting app and Acorns is my investment app. So I need all of those, not gonna remove any of those. Then I have a work folder. Um, I need Slack just because I get work messages on it and it's nice to be able to reply on my phone if I'm like downstairs getting food and not on my computer just so I have access to it. Um, I don't really need Google Docs. We don't use Docs that often, but Sheets, pretty much all of our stuff is on Google Sheets. So I'm going to keep that forest. I really should be better about using, but I'm not. So for now, I'm going to delete it. Next, we have the clock app, which obviously I need, Google Maps, I use, mail, settings, social media. These are all the social media apps I use, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Those are not gonna change. I have my fitness pal to track calories and stuff. I don't use it as often anymore, but I feel like I'll still want it on there for now. And then I have daily horoscope because I like checking my horoscope sometimes. So didn't delete much off the first page. Messaging, I really wish I could just delete group me. I had it for so long for all my sorority stuff and I feel like I don't really need it as much anymore, but we're gonna keep it for now. Facebook Messenger, we're gonna keep WhatsApp. I really don't need, the only person who messages me on there is my grandma, but she can text me, so. Telegram, I really don't use Telegram. I was in some Instagram engagement groups, but I just don't really find this helpful, so we're gonna delete that. Games. You know what, I'm just gonna really delete all of these because the only time I ever play games really on my phone is when I'm on an airplane. This next one is blog and YouTube, but the only app in here that I use is YouTube Studio. So I'm gonna delete Trello, I'm gonna delete Influencer, Influencer, and then I'm gonna move YouTube Studio. I don't know where I'm gonna put it right now. If I, how do I? I feel like with the update, it's so much harder to move apps around and stuff than it was before. Editing, ooh, I really use all of these editing apps. I think I'm gonna delete Planoly because I don't really use that one as much anymore. Superimpose, I use Unum, I, I use Snapsy, I use Unfold, I don't use as often, but I do use it for work sometimes, so I'm gonna leave that. Uh, Facetune, Lightroom, Fonto, Spark Post, I use those. Um, I'm going to put later in here because this is what I use now for Instagram scheduling for my podcast Instagram. So we're going to leave that in there. This next 
folder is reading. I have my Kindle app. I have Goodreads. I'm going to delete Disney Plus. I don't really know why it's in that folder and I never really watched Disney Plus on my phone. That I'm going to move Libby into reading. I just down downloaded it the other day finally. You can read books for free through your library card. My library card wouldn't let me sign up for some reason or I couldn't sign up for a library card online. It said I already had one, but I don't. So I used Brian's and signed him up for library card. Next, we have a shopping app, Target, Amazon, gonna keep those, Starbucks, I'm gonna keep, Postmates, Chipotle, those are all like places I use all the time. Poshmark, I really need to start selling clothes on Poshmark, so I'm gonna keep that for now. Drop, Rakuten, and Pay are all um, rewards apps that I use. And then I have Pocket Points, which I don't really use anymore either even though I do have a lot of rewards on there, but I'm gonna delete it for now and then when things open up and I can use the rewards, maybe I'll re-download it. This folder is extra, it's really just like the random iPhone apps that you have. App Store reminders, FaceTime, wallet, find my health, calculator, contacts. I'm gonna delete shortcuts, I don't use any of those, so I'm not gonna keep that on there. Voice memos will move to here because I still use that sometimes. Um, I never use Apple Maps, so we're gonna delete that. I always just use Google Maps. Magic Links, I really only use on my computer, so I'm gonna delete that. Chronometer is another like health fitness tracking app, but I didn't really like it. I just downloaded it to try it out, so we're just gonna delete that. Grubhub is gonna go into the shopping section and I'm gonna move it onto this first page next to Chipotle because it's like food. I don't know, I like really like them organized together how they go. Why is it not letting me move it? You know what we're gonna try? I'm gonna move Poshmark to the second. Oh my God, why does it not like me? See, I feel like that it was so much easier to move stuff around before. I don't know why it's so much more difficult. Okay, I like that a lot better. Files I am going to keep just because I tried to delete it or I had it deleted off my iPhone and then I was trying to look at downloads in Safari and it wouldn't let me do that without downloading files. So that was difficult. So we got rid of a singular gigabyte. Great. Um, again, most of it is photos. So we're gonna start going through that in a second, but I think I'm gonna delete, go through and delete messages and stuff from Spotify first. Let's go to Spotify and see if there's things we can get rid of. Downloads, to be honest, I don't need most of these. If I want to go listen to them, I can just play them. I have unlimited data, so I don't really need all of these downloaded. I can go in and find them when I need them. So that's podcasts and then in music, I don't think I have that many playlists downloaded. I don't need this one downloaded. Um, the only time I really listen to downloaded music, I guess, is when I'm on an airplane. So I do want to keep a few playlists downloaded, but I don't need quite so many. I feel like that's a little bit better. Let's see if that went down. Oh yeah, we just got rid of a lot of space by doing that. So that's good. Let's go into messages. I really should just like delete. I'm going to delete our conversation, my conversation with Brian. And then, no, let's, we want to keep sharing location. And Amanda, those are the people I text the most during the day. And I don't really need to have our entire conversations from forever downloaded. So I'm just going to go through and delete some of these things that I just don't need. Honestly, I'm probably not going to be showing you this on the screen just because it has like everybody's names in my phone. And I don't need to show you everything and every person I've ever texted. Going through and deleting messages definitely freed up quite a bit of space as well. Um, next, I'm gonna go through Lightroom. I just have to clear out Lightroom every so often because I have so many photos that I upload and edit because that's what I used to edit all my Instagram photos, all of my uh, thumbnail photos. So I'm just gonna go and delete some of these photos that I've already used to make thumbnails and that I don't think I'm gonna want again. Actually. I I'll keep that one because I like using it as a template. I really just don't need some of these. So we're just gonna go through and delete as many as possible. I have a lot of presets on here that probably just take up so much room. Uh, I need to go through and like figure out which ones I wanna keep and which ones 
I want to delete of the presets, but I'm not going to do that right now just because it's going to take a bit of time. Um, some of these I know I'm just not going to use or need again, so we're just going to delete what we can for now, and I'll probably have to go through and do more later, but this is a start. 62 photos deleted. That probably freed up. Did that just go up? I hate life. Um, I think I have to like delete the Lightroom app and then re-download it so that um, it like clears out the stuff that I don't need. Something I realized is that a lot of social media apps like store up a lot of data over time that you don't need. So sometimes I'll just go through and delete them and re-download them. So like Twitter and Facebook, I'm both gonna delete those right now and then just go in and re-download them. Where is, here we go, the app store. And then that way it like starts it as if you just freshly downloaded the app because there's nothing like on Twitter that really needs to be stored. I just go in and look at things. But for some reason it like stores up a lot of memory over time. So both of those are ones that I frequently do it with Instagram too, especially because I use Instagram for work. I'll just go through delete it from time to time and then re-download it. Let's see if that helped. Yeah, see like Twitter went way down. Facebook I can't even find. Maybe it's because it hasn't re-downloaded all the way, but that's just a good way to free up some space quickly. Let's start tackling some of these photos. I'm not gonna sit here and do all of them with you because that would take forever, but like I just have so many screenshots and things that I send to people. I accidentally screenshot my phone like so freaking often that it just takes up so much space on my phone. I actually surprisingly haven't seen one yet and I think it's because I just like cleared out my phone but I'm just gonna delete things that I for sure don't need and then we can go from there. Like I made so many variations of this one thumbnail and then didn't use any of them and I already backed up all my photos to my computer so if I really need these again uh, these Jake Miller photos I downloaded to make a TikTok from um, I need those videos still I think I'm just gonna keep the one version of this that I actually used for my video and then delete all the other options because it just takes up so much space that I don't need. Um, these I don't need, don't need. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Don't need. There's like legit so much stuff that I just screenshot and then never ever need again. That was only 370 photos <laughs> that I just deleted, which is sad. Um, but I'm gonna go and clear out my recently deleted. That's something that I always need to remember to do because that still has storage on your phone even though you want to delete them. It goes into recently deleted for some reason. Sometimes it takes a few tries if there's a lot in there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so always clear out your recently deleted. That takes up a lot of storage on your phone, surprisingly. So, oh, hello, Hunter. So, I think I'm just going to delete the rest of the photos on my own time. I don't want to sit here and take forever with you guys to do that, but let's see how much storage. We only cleared like four gigabytes off my phone, which is really sad. I think I might just cave and do the iCloud photos. I don't really want to pay money for that, but I just use my phone so much and have so much stored on it that I feel like clearing off some of those photos and putting them into iCloud would actually be useful and helpful for me. So we'll decide on that later. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me declutter and organize my iPhone. If you'd like to see this with other devices, like I definitely need to do this with my iPad, let me know, we can do that. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I will see you guys for tomorrow's video.